Hi, my name is Jin Hyung Ah, and I want to share my testimony with you tonight. Uh, nothing is impossible, and it, it, it all depends on how hard I try. This is what I learned from many stories of great men in history books and from the world. I kept this idea in my heart and tried my best to live this self-driven life. Up to the date, it has been successful. I was good at school, and I enjoyed my life back home. Also, I was coming to Japan from a small city in Korea. Last year, when I arrived at Philadelphia Airport, I was excited about new culture, new people, and new college life. But at the same time, I was afraid about my, this great challenge in my life. Again, I remind myself of the idea it all depends on how hard I try. At the beginning of the semester, it was really tough. Most of all, my English was not good enough. Whenever people say something to me, I had to ask them to say it one more time. I was used to be a very humorous person, but I was really boring here, so that like, I cannot, like, I couldn't say any American job here. I was really smart, but I, I was really clumsy person, like a little baby, like learning everything from the very beginning. But I tried my best to assimilate. I attended every single whole event, and I attended hundreds of social events. Also, I tried out, tried out for a musical club at Penn. But the more I put my efforts on those things, the more frustrated was I. The musical club did not accept me, and even in social events, I could not actively participate because I don't know anything about American culture. I kept saying to myself that I need to try harder and harder, but at that point, I didn't even know where I should focus my efforts. I tried my best to get closer to American people and culture, but all failed. When I realized that I'm totally helpless, I, find my, I found myself looking for a God, looking for a God who I put aside of my heart for my entire life. When I accept the fact that I cannot do anything by myself, I could finally give up the ownership of my life and lay my life at the feet of God, the Lord. As soon as I accept God, I could see He's working for me. I could see He's changing my life. He has sent a small group who always support me and encourage me. He has sent my roommate who I can ask any questions about American culture, from idioms to politics. Also, he has sent this church family which I can, in which I can feel comfortable and safe. Now, I'm, a, I'm pretty adjusted to this life at Penn, and I sometimes feel tempted to think that I don't need God's help anymore. And I say, I can take care of myself. But the reason I don't go back to my old life is that I know that I cannot find satisfaction in that life. In high school, getting into good college is all I wanted. While most of my peers were playing video games and going to watch movies, I stayed in the library and memorized SAT vocabularies. <laughs> I hated my senior year, but I could stand it because I believed that I could enjoy my life more than them when I got, to co got into college. Now I'm here at Penn, I go to college, which I really wanted to go. But I don't have time to enjoy what I achieved. Because I, I need to study hard for AIDS, I need to do many extracurricular activities to fill my resume. Also I need to look for summer internships. Do I have this life I cannot enjoy for future joy after graduation? Even though I get a really good job after graduation, I would continue this kind of life to be promoted and to make more money. And to make more money. And this, ne this, cannot never be, this can never be the right way of life. The Bible says God, um, in his heart, a man plans his course and God determines his steps. I, I can do my best in what I'm doing, and God told me to do so. 
but God is the one who leads me and ultimately allows me to achieve what He desires for me to do. This promise coming from Jesus Christ does not go up and down depending on my test scores and internship offers. Living this life in which God determines my steps, I could finally find satisfaction and happiness in the midst of life, this, in the midst of this busy and competitive life.